Okay guys, we've got a new little personal defense fixed blade here I want to show you guys and kind of test it out and see what it'll do. I'm calling this the retainer. It's a two finger knife, rings. Got a little thumb ramp there to cap over for pull cuts. So let's check it out and see what it'll do. All right, pretty nasty. It's all the punch. It works as a punch dagger. That was that original cut. Pull cut came right across the middle. Wow, that's deep. Really deep. And then the slash cut, it is double-edged. Back edge came here. Give you another little shot of the, of the punch since that kind of got covered up with the other cuts. Punch is real. Real easy, even with the curved blade, but it makes a, it actually makes a bigger hole because of the, the curved blade. That's that's a finger size hole, the depth of the blade. So it also allows for weapons manipulation. You can still, obviously, it's not ideal, but you can still manu manipulate a weapon even with it on your strong hand. So you can still still manipulate the trigger. If you had it on the weak hand, it's actually even easier. It's it's out of the way. Obviously, you wouldn't want to walk around with it dangling off of there a lot, but but for high stress situation it definitely would be out of your way while you're trying to shoot virtually no way that I can find that anybody's gonna be able to disarm you from this they they can try grabbing it but they're gonna be grabbing a double-edged blade and I'll take the rings on my fingers over that so so that's it uh, fixing to start ramping up some production on these guys they're gonna be a couple of small changes These two little holes were there uh, just in case I decided to put some handle scales on, which I've decided not to do. I'm going to have probably one s small divot in the blade in the handle there to for the kydex to form to. Um, it's just going to have a simple little kydex sheath. Everything's going to be thin, uh, low profile, very small footprint. can be mounted multiple different ways, and I'll try to show some more of that later when I get the full rig set up. But just wanted to give you guys a look at it. Thanks for watching.